What's up guys and welcome to a new vlog. I'm in Buenos Aires in Puerto Madero. I'm also in the middle of the street, so <laughs> let me cross. But anyway, welcome to Buenos Aires. What to expect on this vlog, this trip. Tons of food. I'm gonna show you guys a lot of attractions. Recoleta, La Bombonera, eh, San Telmo, Caminito, so many other things, La Plaza de Mayo, pricing, where to change money, and so much more. So stay tuned then, let's go. First stop on today's tour is Caminito. I'm here in the heart of Caminito. It's in La Boca, which is a neighborhood here in Buenos Aires. La Boca is also where La Bombonera is, Boca Junior Stadium. I'm gonna head there after, but this place in specific is so popular and so special because it's the birthplace of El Tango. Tango is a style of music um, here in Argentina. And it's just so nice, so full of energy, so pintoresco we would say in Spanish. Uh, very like colorful, there's all sorts of colorful houses. And guys, the streets are packed. Have in mind, be careful with your belongings just because, you know, like in any major city, they might pick your phone out of your hand if you're doing exactly what I'm doing. So try to avoid that. Um, but it's just such a nice vibe. There's colorful buildings everywhere, people everywhere, good energy everywhere. You feel the energy of the soccer. Um, beers are 700 pesos, which is nothing. That's like a dollar and 80 cents to two dollars, depending what the change is at. There's Diego Maradona lookalikes trying to take pictures with you. Um, but I'll show up, shut up so I can show you. Oh, this is actually really cool. Tango. Hola, what's that? Tango in the middle of the street. Um, like I said, such a good vibe. And let's go see La Bomonera and much more. But I'm gonna put some B-roll so you guys can enjoy more of Caminito. So one thing I loved about Caminito is that there was a whole bunch of artisanal stands with handmade crafts. A lot of leather for very cheap, different forms of art. This was really cool. They carved those knives right there. And then this is the main square of Caminito, as you can see. And as I mentioned before, it's very picturesque. And what caught my attention was the amount of people here. I don't know if it's because it's summer in Argentina, now in December, but it was loaded with restaurants and every single restaurant was packed. And another thing I love about this area is that everyone's so nice. Of course, it's a touristy area, so that's what they live from but everyone's so, so nice and so servicial, we would say in Spanish. And it's super cheap. Right now, when we go to San Telmo, you'll see that it's even cheaper. But I guess since this is a more touristy area, it was a little more pricey, but 6,800 pesos is about 12 bucks for a full meal, appetizer steak, wine, dessert. You can't beat that. But let's walk around a little more and let's head to San Telmo. And I will mention it, make sure that you change or exchange money on the street. You will get much better change. The official change when I came was at 176 pesos for $1. And on the black market, I don't even know if I'm supposed to be saying this. It was 350 when I changed it. So definitely try to change on the street. I don't know if this is the best area per se, but definitely look into exchange houses and, and everywhere you walk. People will be offering you change for dollars, for euros, for pounds, for francs, for anything you need. And guys, there's a couple different ways to get here. Private chauffeur, but honestly, if you're feeling adventurous, just get a taxi and have him wait for you. The meter's been running and it's only at 1,200 pesos. And I went from the Hilton to Caminito, now La Bombonera. So that's not bad at all. So far we've only paid $3 to get here. But behind me, está La Bombonera, viste? Eh, I'm gonna try to go inside. I'm pretty sure there's tickets. Um, let's go check it out. Okay, so in order to go into the stadium, you have to be un socio, uh, meaning a member, uh, like a loyalty club. It's really easy. You can sign up online and you just have to pay. 
Um, but I'm a little tight on time and I don't have data right now. But I'm gonna look up the information and leave it here, the website and all that good stuff in the description where you can go. But there's um, murals of Diego Maradona everywhere. It's just so, so cool, so nice. I definitely think La Bomonera is something you should check out, but make sure that you become a member before you come. And becoming a member is, you'll probably have to pay $10, but like I said, I'll look it up and I'll put it here. So yeah, me mandaron a cagar. It's not easy at all. <laughs> I'm gonna leave all the information in the description of how to become a member, but make sure you do it with time because it's annoying. You have to submit an application, then you have to send it in, they have to approve it, blah, 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 blah. So all the information is in the description. Now I'm in La Plaza Dorrego here in San Telmo. It's one of the oldest markets here in Buenos Aires. You'll find a lot of artisanal, oh look, like a weed shop here, um, artisanal rocks, super nice terraces everywhere. It reminds me of like a, una plaza in, in Spain. If you haven't seen my Madrid vlog, I'll leave it somewhere around here so you guys can check it out. But. Look, there's a lot of artisanal things. Very, very nice. I may even have a coffee here. Well, not a coffee, it's really hot. But those beers look great. Just looks like a very good vibe to be around. So San Telmo is actually one of the oldest plazas here in Buenos Aires. A lot of the houses from the 19th century were converted to restaurants and bars. And it's full of restaurants like this. For example, you can eat chicken with rustic potatoes, mustard sauce, a drink, a flan, for just 3,000 pesos. That's ridiculously cheap. That's about $8, once again, depending on the change you find and when you come. But no matter what, that is extremely, extremely cheap. And in San Telmo, you can actually find a lot of the city's street artists because they like to come here and hang around. And on the weekend, this plaza I'm in right now is full of different flea markets. Here I was explaining some other dish, toast with eggplant, beef, drinks for another 3,000 euros but it's full of these little artisanal shops. Everything's handcrafted. Here, make sure you do bring Argentine pesos because I tried buying some things and they didn't want to accept dollars. And I didn't find a, an exchange house anywhere near, but as you can see, leather belts, leather things in general, super cheap. Rio Alba is a very classic, typical restaurant located in Palermo, which is a very nice neighborhood here in Buenos Aires. We always come every time we are in Buenos Aires. And here we have some bull testicle and some ribeye that I had for lunch, along with some gnocchis you guys will see right now. And everything was absolutely delicious, 10 out of 10. I really recommend this restaurant to everyone that comes to Buenos Aires because it's a very classic restaurant where many locals come and they have a great lunch menu as well. Okay, so I'm gonna make, where's the cameras? Oh, the camera's over there. I'm gonna make an exception today. We're at some strawberries with homemade crema chantilly. They would say here, crema chantilly in Spanish, or as we know it, whipped cream. That's, um, my mom's gonna kill me, never grab food with your hand, but mm, tastes so much better with your hands. Okay, look, the camera's that way, sorry. very unpopular opinion um, and I don't like uh, shopping when I travel but the clothes here is super different it is summer here and in Miami it's winter so I am gonna buy some things but look at this beautiful beautiful mall 
Um, there's a couple of these. Um, I'm just gonna show them briefly, quickly, but I'll leave them in the description. So if you do wanna check them out and you do wanna do some shopping, you could. This is Galeria Pacifico, beautiful. Look at the Christmas tree. There's like murals all over um, the mall's roof. So I have to buy something specific here, but don't worry, we'll continue. Now we're just a couple feet away from Arandu and for those of you that don't know what Arandu is, it's a polo store. They sell all things polo, polo as in the sport where people are on the horse and hit the ball with the stick. That's as much as I know about it. But look at how cool this store is. They have so many artisanal bags, all made by hand, all made with premium quality leather. They have different mates, different shaped bags. They have anything a polo player needs, which I'm not. <laughs> they have all these um, are made from plata uh, silver maybe I guess platinum no not platinum uh, silver and they're all made by hand the moccasins are incredible they have shoes they have helmets they have knives knives are definitely one of the coolest things I think you can buy here they're very original I don't want to say what animal they were made with the the handles because I don't know but I definitely think they're worth taking a look at and then this super cool clothing as well this store just has so much to offer so i'm gonna head upstairs to show you guys a bit more and let's continue with the tour After a couple of hours of roaming around the city, I was pretty beat, came back to the hotel. I stay in the Hilton in Puerto Madero. Look at these amazing views, but I freshened up. I got ready for dinner and I made my way down to Puerto Madero, which I was already in, but I was originally in another hotel. So I went to pick up my things, drop them off, and then I'm heading to Sorrento. It's a very nice, I'd say Argentine Italian restaurant located in Puerto Madero. Puerto Madero is a super nice area. It's the equivalent to maybe Brickell or the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Very, very nice, full of different bars and restaurants. Very safe. You can walk with your phone out here at night without a problem. So if you're looking for a very posh, upscale steakhouse, Puerto Madero is definitely the place to be throughout these red brick buildings, which you'll see all throughout the avenue. There's a different restaurant in every section and they're all delicious, all unique, very recommendable. I ordered the bife de chorizo, which is a very Argentine cut. And as you can see, Argentina is not the place or the best place for vegans. Um, we got mashed potatoes, jamón serrano, which was delicious. All right, guys, this is the ribeye bife de chorizo. It's mm. amazing, so good. And it was a weekday, so I did not get dessert. For those of you that are just subscribing or tuning into my channel, you know that I like fitness. You should know that I like fitness. And 
eating healthy during the week but <clears throat> the nice the boardwalk looked very nice it kind of reminded me of hong kong and it was a very nice 10 minute walk back to the hotel I chose to walk to the gym every single morning just because the views were absolutely beautiful. The temperature was amazing. It was about 70 degrees, anywhere from 70 to 75 degrees in the morning, which I think is like 15 or 16 Celsius. And on my walks, I saw a lot of breakfast places. For example, here, two toast and a coffee, just $1.50. And there was plenty of these places. Right now, I'm headed to my CrossFit, which I'll show you guys a little bit of the workout. And by the way, if you are traveling and you do want some sort of routine that maybe you can do in your hotel, I'll be more than happy to help you. Just reach out and I'll go ahead and send that to you. So I couldn't resist myself and I did it. Mm. This was 50 cents. In Miami, they cost anywhere from three to five dollars. Ah! So good. I have my protein shake here, but mm. so, so good. I made my way to La Viela, which you guys will see now. It's a very classic restaurant. It's been here for years in the heart of Recoleta. I ordered some chicken with mushroom sauce and my mom ordered some milanesas with fries. It's a very home style restaurant they used to come to 30 years ago. All right guys, so this is Recoleta. You can see those British style telephone posts. I don't even know what they're called. Um, I'm too young for that. But yes, this is Recoleta. It's a very nice area here in Buenos Aires. There's a lot of like Paris style buildings. A lot of former politicians used to live here and celebrities in general. And then right here where I'm walking is the Recoleta Cemetery where that's where Evita Perón is buried. She was the first lady of Argentina in the 50s and 60s, I believe. Um, from 54 to 62 I'll check right now uh, so we're gonna go check that out it's very nice it's it's crazy there's beautiful monuments I don't know how you guys call it where you're from but I think it's totally worth seeing so I'm gonna head inside so we can see that So I'm almost there, but as you can see, imagine, I can't even imagine how much one of these cost. It's almost like priceless. It's definitely up in the hundred thousands, where I think you have to have some sort of like status to be buried here, obviously. Um, it's pretty creepy, but definitely very, very interesting. Guys, I'm lost in the cemetery. Everywhere I look, there's tombstones, and that map was not very useful. Hopefully I find it soon. But, I mean, it's incredible. Look at these doorways. I imagine to be here, you have to have some sort of status or a lot of money because these... Look at the doors. I don't want to touch that. 
just the detail. It's crazy. So right when you exit the cemetery, if you want to grab a bite, there's this very nice street. The cemetery is right there. I'm about to get run over. And then over here, you have a lot of different restaurants and it has like this very Parisian vibe. So you feel like you're in Paris. I come a lot to Buenos Aires. I just haven't come in about four years. I used to come a lot more. And guys, it's super clean. It's beautiful. Um, the people are so friendly. Oh, and you definitely have to have an ice cream over there in Fredo delicious and a lot of people actually come to this park to have little picnics have their mate which is uh i'm sure you've seen it it's like a little cup where they drink um mate i don't know the translation it's some sort of tea that you drink it is a little bitter some people put sugar in it i'm not argentine if you are argentine and you're watching this let me know if i'm talking shit or or if that's how what mate is um i like it with sugar because if not it's too bitter but it's pretty nice and then this tree here I believe is over 200 years old I'm gonna read the sign now to fact check myself um, it's just I'm a little in a rush making today's content because I'm a little late but I'll go check that out now El Teatro Colón is located in the heart of Buenos Aires along the 9 de Julio Avenue, which is the main avenue, and it's an 8,200 square meter compound, which has been home to many of the world's most famous ballets and operas, and has seen some of the world's most famous and elite members of society attend their events. And now this dome, which we will look at closely now, features the eight muses of Greek mythology, this was intended as you walked into the theater and you would look up and go up the stairs, you would get that inspiration and that muse in the theater to be able to get inspired in your daily life. Now, a lot of the theater is inspired by French, German, and Italian architectures. This particular room may remind you of the Palace of Versailles and the Hallway of Mirrors. This theater had three different architects, two of which were Italian. The first one died of a heart attack. The second one was killed by his main butler. And then the third one was a Bel um, from Belgium. And he's the one that finished the theater. He went all around Europe, got inspiration from all over Europe. And the original construction was to take four years, but it took over 20 years due to so many changes. Now this is the main hall. It seats 2,500 people and can fit up to 500 additional people at the top. Now these closed off sections I'll be zooming into now were for the widows. Back then in Argentine society, widows had to hold two whole years of sorrow and they couldn't be seen in public, but they could come to the theater and sit here. And this was one of the coolest things of the theater. Up there in the lamp, it has over 700 light bulbs and there's a special section for a choir, which would represent the heavenly voices or angels or sounds of nature.
Sinatra. This is by far one of the best restaurants to come to in terms of service, food quality, food offerings. We ordered the ribeye YU, so I'm very excited for that. And now this chorizo is Gracias. off the chain. Guys, so I'm here in La Plaza de Mayo. It's the oldest plaza here in Buenos Aires, and it was started in like the 1500s, but you know, unified as a plaza in 1880s around there. Right here, I have the Pirámide de Mayo, the the main pyramid in English. It's the oldest national monument here in Buenos Aires. It was ordered to be made in in the 1800s to celebrate, I don't know, celebrate or commemorate the May Revolution, uh, which was the revolution against Spain when the colonists revolutionized against the Spanish. Of course, the Spanish government never recognized it, but the Argentines did come out victorious. So therefore they sent that Piramide de Mayo to be made. And then look at this beautiful flag I have right there. It's just gorgeous and there's not one cloud in the sky so it looks extra beautiful and then that back there is la casa rosada or the government house um right now it's considered a national monument it's a museum you can come visit and you'll see a lot of different presidential artifacts and and things pertaining to different presidents but look at the color it's very distinctive it's a baby like a baby pink color hence the name casa rosada now the president doesn't live there, they live somewhere else. Um, I forgot the name, but I'm gonna put it right here. And these are things you only see in Latin America. I know that you don't see this in the US or Europe at least. I know you see it a lot in Mexico, but those are people camping out, striking. Um, I guess they wanna be heard on, on something. I'll try to find some information on that, but this plaza is beautiful. There's also like a, a monument here that has a lot of different rocks there i'm not sure what that could be but i'm gonna find out and then that over there is the banco de la nacion argentina the national bank of argentina these buildings are so beautiful you can definitely see that european spanish influence here because all the buildings have that sort of architecture these are like very colonial style buildings this pink house is, is just beautiful and then as i mentioned throughout in the video a lot of the construction here is also like very parisian um french looking hoffman style absolutely beautiful this by the way uh, la plaza de mayo is only about a 10 minute walk from puerto madero which is where i'm staying um it's definitely worth coming and and taking some pictures sightseeing for a bit but it's just such a beautiful day so i'm going to keep taking some footage so we can move on with this tour by the way if you're liking what you're seeing i ask you to please like and leave a comment subscribe share anything works um and leave suggestions tell me what you like what you don't like uh what you would like to see more of and i'll get to that so i'm gonna head back to the hotel i'm gonna work out really quick and then we're gonna go eat more delicious food so guys i actually walked into the national bank out of curiosity and it's beautiful and it turns out there's a museum on the first floor 
or they show you like the old machines of how they used to make money and well i mean i'm not there yet i haven't done the tour so i guess i'll find out a little more but it is beautiful see that's what i love about traveling and I mean, it shocks me a little bit that I just walked in, no questions asked. That was pretty, I was stopped on the way in because I was filming, but no security checkpoints, no nothing. That's a lot of America for you. Properties range from 310,000, 420,000, 129, 3.5 million. But as you guys can see, they're extremely beautiful. I think this is the building right behind me 1,600,000. seasons we came to have an afternoon tea some of his fans just told me Jared Leto is up there in the four seasons um, it's pretty cool Jared Leto if y'all don't know y'all need a history lesson but um, he's done many 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 acting roles check him up look him up um, oh pretty cool Oh, for those of you that don't know I'm also an actor and you can catch my show on Disney Plus this 2023 called Forever, I'm Charlie. Let me know what you guys think. Look at all the life that there is while well, you guys saw on that side of the bridge. It's full of restaurants and there's not... Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 all right. Um, there's a lot of little bars everywhere and this is uh, right next to our hotel. It's just so nice. There's a bunch of cafeterias as well. I don't want to leave. I still have four days, but I don't want to leave. So if you're looking for a cool vibe, a cool place such as Wynwood or the Meatpacking District, I definitely recommend Palermo or Palermo Hollywood. It's an area full of tourists and many, many delicious restaurants and nightclubs. Called 
that. But put it on there. And then this sashimi looks fire. Can't wait to try it. Right. This place was absolutely delicious. I totally recommend it. The cocktails also looked amazing and the vibe was off the charts. La Cabrera is one of the busiest restaurants in Buenos Aires and they have a very, very extensive wait list. In fact, they don't even take reservations, especially during this time of the year. Just look at the amount of people that are waiting in line and this line is non-stop. They have two locations along the same street, totally worth the wait. What I love about Argentina is in every restaurant, they always give you something to start with without you having to order it. So we had some like eggplant with egg and some Pure ray, pure ray, sorry. And of course, another YU ribeye steak because we're in Argentina and you should not be any eating anything else that's not steak. Lo de Jesus is another top restaurant here in Buenos Aires, worth checking out. We didn't have the chance to eat here because they did not have the space and definitely another restaurant you have to check out is Don Julio. It's amongst the top 50 restaurants of the world. And there was no shot there. Although the concierge in the hotel did say if you slip them a $20 American dollar bill, they may skip you through the line. So if you do do that, try it and definitely let me know in the comments. That way I can do it next time. But as you can see here in Palermo and Palermo Hollywood, there's bars all over the place. There's a lot of craft beer bars, which I thought was pretty neat. Um, and just the vibe overall is great. It's fun, everyone's nice, everyone's in a good mood, and there's so many tourists in this area, so you will not have trouble making friends. So I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I'm actually here in Argentina for New Year's Eve. And this is New Year's Eve. They were making an asado, as they would call it, here by the pool. That was a beautiful tomahawk steak that you could smell from a mile away. Absolutely gorgeous views. And, and this is something you won't see in the United States. So I definitely want to give a shout out to the Hilton Hotel, which I will also be doing an extensive review on them. If you want to check out in my channel, you can go and see the review of the Hilton Hotel. And we're actually spending New Year's Eve here because they're doing a New York themed party. But I enjoyed a smoothie by the pool, got a very nice tan. And then soon it was time for dinner and time to get ready. The Hilton Hotel chose a very cool theme. It was a New York theme. Funny enough, I live in Miami, I come to Argentina and I'm having a New York celebration. So they made it a New York themed party. There was four sections. There was Central Park, Little Italy, Chinatown, and the Meatpacking District. 
each individual section had the different types of food, which you'll see in continuation. Everything was delicious, and most importantly, the service and the waiters were un amor, we would say in Spanish. They were super nice, very attentive, always making sure that you were happy and enjoying everything and, and always on top of you and making sure you were just having an overall good time. All the food quality was fantastic and the desserts you'll see right now, they were oh off the chain. One thing you need to know about me is that I am a cookie monster. I love sweets. It's my weakness. Guys, here people just get their own fireworks. They bring them, they set them up. Those aren't the official Casa Rosada fireworks, which is over there. These are just people, they show up, and boom, pa, boom. All right, guys, and that brings us to the end of our Buenos Aires vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, you know, we've done quite a bit. You guys saw La Boca, La Bombonera, San Telmo, Caminito. La Plaza de Mayo, tons of food, um, tons of culture. I wasn't able to show you guys the tango show because it is summer, so I guess consider if you wanna come in summer or not. Um, all shows end towards the middle of December, but you do have to watch Señor Tango in Barracas or Vallecas. I forgot the name, I'll put it here in the description. It's like a true authentic tango show here in Buenos Aires, totally worth seeing. I would arrange a private transport over there because it is a little picante, how they would say here. It's a little sketchy, that area, but it's totally worth it. Um, also, if you want to see theaters, make sure you don't come in the summer because here in the city of Buenos Aires during the summer months, which is December, January, and February, there are no theaters or no big theaters for that matter. But anyway, enough of me talking. I'm sure you guys have had it with me talking enough. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, what would you like to see, give me suggestions, what country would you like to see, um, and I'll be more than happy to see those suggestions and, and hopefully go through with them. But I'll see you guys next time from Netherlands, Madrid. I'll be going to Ultra in Croatia as well, Germany, and so many other places. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like what you see, please hit the like button and subscribe, and Avidezen, I'll see you from Germany.